The Oklahoma Sooners appear to be on a heater right now as they're receiving predictions left and right for multiple players across the country. And we talked about the five-star safety in Jonah Williams. There's been one player specifically, though, that maybe not a lot of Oklahoma fans are familiar with that we're going to look at, look at the film, look at the measurements. So we're going to talk about why this might be big for Oklahoma because Oklahoma's already got 10 commits in this class. There's not a lot of space left. And we're looking at a class that maybe could realistically be wrapped up by the end of summer. If you're an Oklahoma fan, you're excited about that. Before we dive into it, guys, I need to hear from y'all, though, so make sure you hit that like. You guys really showed out in the previous video where I tasked you guys and challenged y'all with getting that video to 250 likes, and you guys showed up and you showed out. 247, so we were three away there, but I'll give y'all your credit where credit's due. Y'all did pretty good. Let's try to get the 250 on this video. If you haven't, subscribe. We're doing a lot of OU football content. Uh, we got an OU softball podcast launching, I believe, tomorrow or Friday. Um, and then we're still trying to figure out any stuff around basketball. So uh, drop your thoughts and comments there. But we got to talk about the, I believe he's a three star safety. I don't know if he has a four star anywhere. In uh, Marcus Wimberly um, out of, and I, I believe it's pronounced uh, Box City, Arkansas. I hope I said that right. Y'all can let me know down in the chat because y'all do such a good job at helping me uh, get stuff corrected when I say it wrong. But uh, Marcus Wimberly, a guy that was originally committed to Arkansas, decommitted, and now you're seeing him really explore those options. I believe Steve Wiltfong had him uh, predicted to Michigan, but you're starting to see all of these predictions flow in for Wimberly to end up at Oklahoma. Uh, was previously on campus at one of the other junior days. He's got predictions in from Sam Spiegelman. He's got uh, predictions coming in from Arkansas insiders. I believe you saw the Michigan insiders. You've seen the Texas insiders. You've seen everybody jumping in here on predicting Marcus Wimberly to Oklahoma. Now, the question is, why is this big for Oklahoma? Because we're excited or at least a lot of people were really excited about Jonah Williams. And it seemed like those predictions maybe halted that recruitment or that commitment a little bit. Now things might drag out a little bit more. And you ask yourself, is the same going to happen for Marcus Wimberly? And only time's going to tell. But here's the deal. If you can get a guy with Jonah Williams size, with Marcus Wimberly in that secondary, dare I say that Oklahoma's Safety room over the next three, four, maybe five years is going to be one of the top five safety rooms in the country. Marcus Wimberly is a guy that has 11 total offers from across the country. And although the offer list from 247 Sports looks small, you got to look at who the offers are from, right? I, I think that's I, we get so caught up in the star rankings, low offers, but we don't look at the quality, right? Arkansas, Michigan, Ole Miss, Tennessee, SMU. So many people dogged on Oklahoma for playing SMU last year. Did a lot of people realize that SMU is like top, I think they were like 15 or 20 in offensive and defensive efficiency? Like SMU is now going to the ACC. They're going to be competing at a high level in the Power Five. So... I want to go ahead and uh, share some of his huddle film here a little bit so you guys can see exactly Marcus Wimberly's play on the field while we talk about some of these measurements, some of his stats, so you guys can kind of get a good feeler for what Marcus Wimberly could bring to Oklahoma. Got a chance to catch up with a couple people here. 6'1", 200 pounds, good size there, good frame. 40 yard, 4'4". Four, four. Really good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really good. And I believe he's, they, uh, I, I got something that said his top speed was 21.65 miles per hour. Those were real numbers at one of the camps last year. His vertical was 38.2, broad jump of 10.4. He benched 325, squatted 415. Y'all, I think I can only squat like 275, 300, right? I'm, I'm, I'm a little weakling, but 415 seems like a lot. 
when you look at his stats, dude's kind of a Swiss Army knife in high school. He can do it all. He's playing quarterback, wide receiver. He ran the ball a few times. Had a total of 1,300 yards of total offense last year. Not to mention 71 tackles. One tackles for loss, two pass breakups, one interception, and one fumble recovery. And then when you look at the film, you see Marcus Wimberly's awareness, right? The ability to close in on the receiver, right? To close in on that ball carrier. And then on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to just help make plays. Now, obviously, Brandon Hall and Brent Venables at the OU staff are recruiting him to be a safety. Not expecting this guy to play on the offensive side of the ball for Oklahoma. But how many times have we seen it where maybe Oklahoma starts to get a little short in numbers and maybe they need to pull somebody from a different part of the team to help play a position because they played it in high school. Maybe Marcus Wimberly could be that guy for you, right? Maybe he comes here, he shows out, and Majon says, hey, I think this guy might be a better wide receiver and tells Brandon Hall, hey, I'm going to pull this guy from the safety room. You never know, right? But ultimately, being recruited as a safety by Brandon Hall, and as you can see here, he's got the frame to be able to go up there and grab the ball. You've seen it in the stats, right? Obviously, he has good awareness. He's able to make those closeouts on those receivers and the ball carriers. I think Marcus Wimberly would be a big addition for Oklahoma in this class. And you get him and Jonah Williams in that safety room, I think you're Oklahoma. If you're an Oklahoma fan, you're feeling really good about the future of the secondary for Oklahoma going forward as they will continue their journey into the SEC. But I want to hear from y'all, and I want to hear what y'all's thoughts are and what you guys think of all these predictions going in favor of Marcus Wimberly because – I think it's actually pretty big. I think it's pretty big that Oklahoma is making this big of an impact this early on so many recruits. The difference in recruiting with this regime versus the old regime that we had here at Oklahoma, which we're going to talk about here uh, either tomorrow or on the weekend, I think it's a huge difference. So jump in the comments. Give me your thoughts. If you haven't already, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. And YouTube wants you guys to watch one of these videos. So make sure you tune into one of those. Check it out. Oh, one more thing before I forget. We're wanting to do some other OU sports, right? We've looked at basketball. Drew England has talked about maybe wanting to do some baseball stuff. I want to hear from y'all on what other sports you would want us to cover just outside of football and softball. Obviously, just remember, I'm a one-man show, so sometimes it can be hard to do all of these different sports and try to record every single day and do podcasts, but I want to try to bring you guys as much content that you guys want to see every single day. So jump down in the comments below and give me your thoughts on what other sports you would want me to cover, how often you'd want me to cover it, and then would you want it like what I'm doing right now, where it's like a pre-recorded video that I just put out. Do you want to see some more live streams? Would you show up to those live streams? Uh, give me some opinions. Give me some feedback below. And hey, you never know. You guys might be the, the start of something 